Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about my hair. Now I know what you're thinking, Steph, this is a hair video. Why have you done just the most basic bun ever? I'm gonna be talking you through my hair care routine and I'm also gonna be kind of like showing you guys on camera what I kind of do to tame it because my hair can be a little bit crazy sometimes. So if you don't know, if you've just stumbled across one of my videos, I get a lot of questions about my hair because it is this very kind of like on-trend silvery color. Obviously I've got my dark roots and then it's like a silvery kind of blondy sort of color. I'm always getting questions about how I keep my hair silver because if you've tried it, then you'll know that it's not the easiest thing in the world. But saying that, after having my hair this color for probably over a year now, I'd say. Has it already been a year? Yeah, I think it's been like over a year now. I've kind of got a few hacks and a few tricks under my sleeve to make it a whole lot easier. So if you guys do wanna hear more about how I maintain the color of my hair and the general condition of my hair as well, please stay tuned. So first of all, brace yourselves because my hair, my hair's pretty crazy right now. Like I haven't done anything to it. I literally like kind of 95% dried it, slept in it, and this is what we're dealing with here. My hair's not naturally curly, it's generally like a little bit wavy, but if I don't like dry my hair completely, it is mad. Like, like I literally look like one of those women out of Edward Scissorhands with like, just like, just like, what is this? Definitely not lacking in the volume department, let's just say that. Stay there. That's about the best we're gonna get right now. So first of all, I guess it's probably a good idea for me to just quickly go through kind of my hair history. I must have had every single hair color under the sun, I'm being serious, I mean pink, green, blue, black, platinum blonde, uh, regular blonde, brown. This is my natural hair color, I get a lot of questions about that. I do get my roots dyed, um, normally when I get my hair first done, but that's all completely like washed out now. This is my natural hair color here. So I do naturally have quite dark hair, which I think is why I get quite a lot of questions about how we got it to this color, because I mean, it's a pretty big difference. But yeah, basically when I first started getting my hair done, I didn't really have any dye in my hair at all. I hadn't dyed my hair in a very, very, very long time. I had a little bit of blonde in there, which was just bleach, and that was from like a slight bit of balayage. And basically silver was kind of always like my dream hair color, but I never ever thought it would suit me. So I was always going lighter and lighter at pretty much every single hair appointment I went to. I was going like blonde right on the end, taking it up a little bit, taking it up a little bit, and eventually I did get to kind of like an ombre sort of look. But yeah, I pretty much started out with completely natural hair, obviously, apart from the ends, which did have a little bit of bleach on, and I just kind of went lighter and lighter as the years went on. I was never overly loyal with any particular salon when I was doing like my little ombre phase, but then over the past few years, I've stuck with two girls in particular, one girl for one thing, one girl for another. The first girl we'll talk about is Katie. I will forever love Katie because I went into Katie after having a very dodgy dye job, um, dodgy bleach job, whatever you wanna call it, and she fixed me right up. She was so good. Honestly, if you're in the area and if you do wanna go blonder, Katie is amazing with foils. I'll make sure I leave all of her details and everything down below. Katie and I, we spent a lot of time together that summer because she basically took me from pretty much this color all the way up to a peroxide blonde. And trust me, when people say that going silver is a commitment, they aren't lying because literally I think it maybe took four sessions of like four hours or so. So around about 20 to 25 hours probably of bleaching to get my hair kind of to like a white enough blonde. One thing Katie did, which was kind of annoying at the time, but I so get why she did it and I thank her for it now, is she basically made me leave like three or four weeks in between each bleaching session, just so that my hair wouldn't snap, so my hair would stay in decent condition, because I mean, it had to go a long way from like pretty dark brown to like white, so that took, that took a lot of getting used to, especially when I left the salon one day and I literally had like yellow blonde hair from like root to tip. That was a look. So then we'll move on to Vicky, who is very much the lady that got me where I am today. Again, I'll leave all of her details down below. She's Vicky Scissorhands on Instagram. Definitely recommend you follow her Instagram. She does like the craziest hair colors. She is basically the queen of crazy colors. I mean, she can do really nice, more like natural looks, but if you want a crazy color, go to Vicky because she's just amazing. So while I'm going through my silvery phase, Vicky is pretty much the only girl I go to for my hair just because, I mean, she knows exactly what she's doing with the color, she knows what I like. I literally just go into her, sit down and come out with exactly what I want. I'll have to double check with her and I'll have to leave like all the details in the description box or something, but I'm pretty sure 
she uses, I mean, she uses like this bleach that basically obviously gets my hair to this color. So we'll just bring up my roots sometimes. Get a lot of questions about why I keep my dark roots. And that's purely because my hair grows so fast. That if I did like full silver, my roots grow through like within a few days anyway. So if I leave my roots, it just means that I don't have to go to the salon as often, which is great because let's face it, who has time to spend an entire afternoon in a salon every other week? Not me. So yeah, like Katie, she'll basically take up my roots, take them up. We normally go to about here, I'd say, and then she'll normally just put like a slightly darker dye on my roots just because I kind of like that look. And then for the dye itself, I'm pretty sure she uses L'Oreal. Again, I'll have to double check. She does use a lot of Manic Panic though. I know at one point I had smoke screen in my hair mixed with a pastelizer, I think. I think it was those two. But she basically makes my hair a little bit more on the blue side. We've tried it with like lilac colors. We've tried it just going like a flat silver. But because obviously my hair is naturally a lot warmer, like you might be able to see, it's starting to warm up a little bit around here and like a little bit here, for example. Because it is warmer, if we do like a blue kind of over the top of the, I guess, yellow hair, then it just kind of counteracts it a little bit better. So basically I'll come out the salon with kind of like a bluey gray hair. And to be honest, I'll just leave it like that for a few days because hey, it's fun. I can have blue hair for a few days. And then I'll tend to rinse it out quite a lot and really get rid of that excess dye. And I think, again, I'll have to double check with her, but I'm pretty sure the dye that she uses lasts around 30 to 40 washes. So it does last quite a long time. But I mean, like I said, I haven't been to the salon for four, probably, probably actually closer to five months now, which is so bad. I desperately need a trim, but I mean, my hair is still like a silvery color and there's literally no dye left in my hair at all. So now we'll move on to the thing that, like I said, I get asked the most, which is how I maintain the color, which is, which is where these bad boys come in. So basically, long story short, if you want silver hair, you're gonna need to use a silver or purple shampoo. So this is the Provoke Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo. And if you go through some of my older videos, you will see a lot of this guy. Like I've literally, I don't even wanna think about the amount of bottles I've gone through of this stuff. It's a lot. So I'm not gonna lie, this stuff can look pretty scary when you first use it because it literally does come out this color and you look at it and you're like, there's no way that that's not gonna stain my hair. But once you wash it out, it does literally just leave your hair to be like a nice silvery color. I used to use this all the time when I had my blonde hair to kind of cancel out any yellow tones. So it's not just if you want like silvery colored hair, if you do have blonde hair as well, this is really, really good at canceling out any yellow. But I'd probably say I use this maybe, I probably wash my hair every two or three days depending on what I'm doing. Obviously if I've been to the gym and had a really sweaty sesh, then I'm gonna wanna hop in that shower. But, but I just find it keeps the condition of my hair a lot better because I'm not washing it too much. So basically I just use this as a regular shampoo. I'll pop it through my hair, rinse it out, and I usually tend to shampoo it twice just because I find my hair tends to react to shampoo a lot better that way. It's kind of like the first shampoo cleanses your hair, the second shampoo I find it tones your hair a lot better because you're kind of getting rid of any dirt. This one you can leave on your hair for up to five minutes. I probably leave it on now for two or three minutes. Normally I'll literally just like leave it in my hair and then I don't know, like wash my body or something. And by the time I've rinsed all the soap off my body, I'll then rinse it off my hair. So once I've washed that out, that's kind of the main toning part done. So I'll then move on to conditioner. So this one here is the intensive conditioner. And if I just show you guys what this looks like, this one isn't as scary. Like, let me just show you there. Can you see the color of it? It's kind of more of like a lavender color. So again, you just use this as like a regular conditioner. You can leave this in for three minutes, for example, or what I like to do is leave it on for around 10 minutes or so, just because I find my hair needs it. Obviously it's got a lot of bleach in it, so the longer I can keep my conditioner on, the better. And then sometimes what I'll do is kind of like my little concoction, because obviously the shampoo is so, so intense, I'll actually put a little bit of that in with the conditioner and then leave it on my hair for around about 10 minutes or so. Like seriously, if you have any yellow in your hair at all, this little combo here, they will sort it out. And by the way, you guys, this stuff, it smells so freaking good. I kind of want to eat it, but I don't think that's a good idea. But yeah, the Provoke Touch of Silver line in general is probably one of my favorite purple shampoos I've ever come across. And it's probably one of the cheapest as well. Like you can find this in loads of different places. So definitely recommend you check that out. And then another product from them that I've been using recently is their leave-in conditioner because I've mentioned it in the past before, before I would leave like residue of conditioner in my hair. And then I realized that I could just leave 
a leave-in conditioner instead because that's kind of what it's meant for. So this is, again, the Provoke Touch of Silver leave-in conditioner with pro-vitamin B5, again, meant for like blonde, silvery kind of hair. So after shampooing and after conditioning and doing all that stuff in the shower, I'll just have a few sprays of this, mostly in like the ends of my hair, kind of like halfway down right to the ends. I'll just spray some of this onto my hair and it does just help to kind of maintain the condition of it. And then, still more products to go, then I'll just take a heat defense. There is one in here, but I do like to use another one just because again, I don't want to compromise the condition of my hair or anything like that. So the heat defense that I'm using at the moment, not picky at all by the way, I'll kind of take whatever I can get. This is the Redkin Heat Restyling Technology Thermal Holding Spray like it, it kind of adds a little bit of grit to my hair, which I'm not mad at actually, I find it kind of keeps my hair a little bit straighter. Ollie's not keen on it, but then again, this isn't Ollie's um, heat protectant, so why is he stealing it, Ollie? I would like to know, but he's used this before and he's been like, yeah, it adds too much grit to my hair, but I like that. Ollie, if you don't like my heat spray, then don't bloody use it, okay? But yeah, normally I'll literally just like spray it all over the place. I don't really do it in sections or anything like that. I'll just take like handfuls of my hair and just spray spray some of this across it and seems to be doing the job. Then we have this guy, which again, I used to use years ago, but it literally just like randomly made its way back into my life. I got it in PR and I was like, I haven't seen that stuff in years. I didn't even know they still did it, but it's the macadamia healing oil treatment and this stuff is the best like the best oil I've ever come across. I think you're actually supposed to use it as like a mask sometimes, but I've never tried that. I'll just use this in my hair like every day. Like even if my hair is dry, I'll take one pump of it like this. And again, smells so, so good. And I'll basically just rub it into my hands like this. I basically just want like a thin layer of it all over my hands. And I'll just kind of like run my hands through my hair like that. And I find that it just kind of smooths my hair out a little bit keeps it nice and shiny, keeps it in decent condition, and like I said, it smells great, which I love. And I must have had this now for like two months or so, two, maybe three months, and I use it pretty much every day, and it's still, it's still up to here, so a little goes a long way. So I use that in the ends of my hair while my hair's damp, and then like I said, if I need it when my hair's dry, I'll just kind of like add a little bit as I go along. Then I go ahead and blow dry my hair and I don't do anything fancy when I blow dry my hair at all. I don't use like a particular brush or anything. I literally don't do anything special or glamorous or anything like that. I'll pretty much just like whip my head upside down and just go ham with the hair dryer and that kind of works for me. I find that it does straighten my hair out enough. When it comes to brushing my hair, I just use either a tangled teaser or a wet brush. I'm not gonna turn these around because they are disgusting because they are very well loved but these are some of like the best brushes that I use. Tangle Teaser is good for like smoothing everything out. I usually tend to prefer this one if I've straightened my hair. The wet brush is fab if obviously you have wet hair. It's like one of the only brushes that I find work um, when your hair is wet because it doesn't like catch or anything like that. Also helps as well if you do have longer hair like me or if you have thick hair, if you have curly hair, wavy hair. Generally, if you have hair, then a wet brush is like, the best thing to go for because they never tangle your hair or anything like that. So yeah, I love those guys. So that's my hair history done. That's all the products out of the way. So now we'll move on to styling tools. And you guys know me, I pretty much stick to like one hairstyle and that's like straight and like pulled to the side a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So obviously I've already gone ahead and used my heat protectant spray so I don't have to worry about that. We are all good, we are protected. So the straightener that I use is very, very interesting looking and it's literally the best thing I've ever come across. I love GHDs, I really, really do. I've got a pair in my house that Ollie uses. But these, these are the best straighteners I've ever come across. And I mean, you can see how much I love them because they are disgusting, they're like caked in product, but it goes to show that I use these a lot. I ain't lying to you guys. So this is the L'Oreal Steam Pod and it literally like, it's all attached, it's not just like this big clamp thing here. This comes with it, they have to go together. And basically, if I just pop this open, this guy slides out here, and you fill this with water, which is what I've already done. You pop it back on, like so. And it's got little like sucky pads on the bottom, so I'm just gonna stick that onto my desk. So then nothing fancy about this part, I'm literally just gonna press the on button, and it lights up, and if we just wait, it should start making noises any second now. 
Any minute now. There we go. Woke up. So can you guys hear that? If I just get that. Can you hear this here? And now steam is like coming out of these little holes here. And basically every time I clamp this. Steam comes out of it. So it basically, as you can see, you've got the clamps in here, like the little ceramic plates. So that obviously straightens your hair, but then your hair also gets straightened with steam. I just find it straightens my hair a lot quicker. It uses a lot less heat. Like I use these on 140, whereas normal GHDs, I use them at like the highest setting. But literally all I do to straighten my hair is I won't even like section it properly or anything like that. I will get a piece of hair like this and just see how quickly this straightens my hair. Are you ready? Boom, done. I mean, I could probably do my entire head of hair in like less than five minutes with this guy because it's just so speedy. So then I literally just very, very messily, any hairdressers watching this are probably cringing, but I literally just like go around the rest of my hair super quick takes like no time at all and that's that's pretty much it so you guys i really hope you found this video helpful because i know a lot of you have been asking for it recently if you did then as always please do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't see more of me because i upload all the damn time but apart from that that's it from me i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye